Dr. Mary Helen Hensley, and I'm delighted to have you with me. Uh, today I'm going to address a question that I get asked a lot because I would speak with the dead quite often in my healing sessions and people want to know what that's like. Are they standing in front of me? Are they, are they, can you actually see the figure? Is it a voice in your head? And the answer to that is yes, yes, and yes. Um, people will come through in whatever way possible. And depending on how evolved the soul is or how long the soul has been passed over, usually depends on the way that they'll tend to communicate because it's all about vibration. When a vibration is at a much higher level, it takes a lot of effort to lower the vibration in order to communicate with a with the human being. And so when a soul is in spirit, if they have just recently passed over, uh, very often you'll get help or assistance from somebody else connected with that soul because they're unable to, to manage lowering the vibration just after passing. And I want to tell you about a healing session that I did recently, and this was actually with a priest. And this priest was a, a lovely fellow, and uh, I know we've heard a lot of scandal about priests lately, but this guy does not fall into that category. Just a super fellow, bang on, has dedicated his life to helping people, extraordinarily open-minded. Obviously, he was in with the metaphysical healer, so we know he's open-minded. And he had come in with an issue regarding his leg and a pain that he had in his leg. And in his keen awareness of himself, he recognized that this wasn't a physical problem. He knew that it was an emotional aspect. And he also was switched on enough to know that it really wasn't his stuff. He came to me to find out what in the world was going on with him. And so, boy, did my eyes get opened. I had a very interesting encounter that day. And as I started working on him, I was standing at his feet. And next thing, I became aware of three presences on his left which were not members of his um, his family when he uh, family members that had passed on these would have been guides or, 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 or spirit guardians that were there to help him next on the other side of the table his mother and father who were both in spirit and a dead sister appeared on the other side and it was quite extraordinary because usually when I'm doing a session with someone, if, if there's some relevant information, someone in spirit will come through and they'll either speak to me in an audible voice that I can hear or they'll be standing in front of me and I can see them and communicate with them, giving the information to help that person on their journey. Uh, this, I got surrounded by the whole family posse. It was incredible. And all of a sudden, the energy in the room seemed to change. It was like the room began to vibrate. There was just an electric energy in the room. And it turns out that because this priest had chosen the life that he had led, and with that came a life of celibacy, he had not been forced into the priesthood. It wasn't one of those things where he was the second son and had to go off and become a priest. He really genuinely wanted to do this with his life. He was dedicated to this. So the issue of celibacy was not an issue for him. I've often worked with people who are in the clergy where that has been an issue, and guess where they tend to manifest disease most often? In that second chakra or in the, in the sexual organs. So he, he was quite, quite unusual to work with him because he was so centered in such a great space about the, the choices he'd made in his own life. So his family unit and his spiritual guides had come in to help him heal a family karmic um, instance. Now, karma is a term that people tend to use, and they think of karma, we pay back karma for something bad we did in a past life. That has never been my experience. Karma to me is all about balancing. You set out a list of things that you wanted to do in one life, and you either accomplished them all or you didn't. And so what happens as far as karma is concerned is in the next life you have the chance to balance that. So this family had come in, and it turns out that it was the niece of the priest who was actually in trouble. And he had manifested this leg pain in order to bring an awareness to himself that he was going to be the one in the family to help balance this out. Denise had major issues with her own sexuality, and she had manifested diseases in her second chakra region, so in the ovaries, and was, was currently dying of cancer. And so the fact that he laid on the table with me and that the leg was what brought him to me allowed his family or soul group to come in and create what we would call a family karma healing. It was a most extraordinary experience and uh, one that was very different than, than I had 
had encountered in, in the past. And by the end of the session, of course, his leg was clear because his leg was only a beacon. His leg was a guide to get him in the right space at the right time. What happened after that with the appearance of his, of his sister, the mother and father that were in spirit, and the three members of his soul group that were acting as guides, the energy that they put forth towards the niece was just amazing because the niece had, in a previous incarnation, dealt with issues about her sexuality and not dealt with them in an appropriate manner. She had come back into this life with the opportunity and the chance. Imagine she picked Ireland, Catholic Ireland, to come into with, the, with these issues with her sexuality and had again not managed to encounter opportunities that were going to create further growth and understanding. So she had stagnated. So she manifested this disease process. The priest being someone who could relate to this because he had chosen a life of celibacy. He had chosen issues dealing with sexual sexuality and had managed to do this successfully meant that he was able to conduct and facilitate this karmic healing with the family and with my help. And it was absolutely a most extraordinary experience. And I look forward to sharing more of those experiences with you in the near future. Thank you.